For days now, recent fires in and around Central Oregon have brought in layers of smoke and at times leading to health, unhealthy air quality. Kelsey McGee looks at the impact on visitors and businesses. This morning I was told don't go out, it's miserable out, and I've been biking for the last hour and I, it's beautiful, I'm not wearing my mask and um, I don't notice it, so I've seen worse in California. At the height of summer tourist season, the frequent smoky days are causing visitors to reevaluate outdoor plans. I tend to try to get out early in the morning, make sure that I, I, I always bring a mask with me just in case it gets a little too dry because it will be uh, bothersome for your throat, the back of your mouth. At Tactics and Bend, they're definitely feeling the impact. Us being a skate shop here, I feel like a lot of people do like reside to come here to like get outdoors, but with the smoke it is kind of funny because it's like you can't really be active outside, so you just are like looking at skateboards or like shopping for the outdoors, but you're kind of stuck inside. Despite the recent smoke in Central Oregon, that hasn't stopped people from coming outside Wednesday to enjoy the Ben Farmer's Market shop and stroll downtown. It's very, very busy this morning. Um, it does get a little bit quieter in the afternoon when the smoke does get a little worse. Uh, it hasn't affected us as much this year. Last year, in the past few years, it's been much worse. For farmers at Rain Shadow Organics, the smoke isn't deterring the work on the farm to harvest vegetables, but at the market, they've noticed a drop in business. People not coming to market because of the smoke is probably affecting our business the most, which I can totally understand people not wanting to be outside when it's smoky, um, but that I think that's probably the most challenging part for us. At a Ben flower shop, Wildflowers of Oregon, they're grateful customers are still coming in, maybe grabbing a bouquet to offset the gloomy smoke. We have definitely seen still a lot of foot traffic, surprisingly. Uh, on the smokiest days, it hasn't been as busy, but it doesn't seem to be deterring people as much as I thought that it would be. There are cooling centers, which can also offer shelter from the smoke. Deschutes Public Health recommends cancel on aging or the downtown Bend Library. Kelsey McGee, News Channel 21.